Okay, so we found the cable in my office, we followed it up above the ceiling, and we saw that that cable sort of headed out this direction into the hallway. So I'm here with Christian Miller, our local uh, CSE uh, IT uh, manager, Director, master yeah. of all trades, all sorts of things. Christian's a very helpful person to get to know um, when you're in the department. So Christian is going to sort of show us what happens next. Uh, the cabling that we're using, this twisted pair of copper cabling, can only run about 100 meters before it has to be terminated. So whenever you find this sort of copper cabling, you know that there's some more networking infrastructure nearby that's part of the internet. So uh, for this particular uh, video, we want to make, uh, we're trying to be careful to not show you any sensitive information about the networking infrastructure on campus. Uh, so we're going to walk. Uh, while we walk, we're going to uh, blind the camera with this highly sophisticated device. Um, <laughs> and when we get there, there'll be something interesting to see. So are you ready? We're ready. All right, let's go. People may think this is the best part of the video, actually. Try not to say anything. I don't want to give away where we are. <laughs> so you got to get close so you can't see that. Do you want to put the shirt over it? Uh, Ready? Hmm. There's a bug getting into there. Come in. I tried to turn on the lights. I don't know if they came on. Okay, they're automatic. Okay. Okay. So, Christian, where are we? Well, don't tell us where we are because we okay. we're, we're in some un, we're in an undisclosed location. Where we are we is a at? trade secret, but we're in a communications closet on the third floor of Davis Hall. Now, all of the copper wire from the labs, the offices, and everywhere else, even our data centers that are over in 339 Davis, terminate here in this building. You can, you might want to look at the copper yeah. wire. Yeah, look, at this, um, look at all this copper coming. cable. There's probably hundreds of uh, twisted fair Cat5, I mean, maybe it's so, Cat6 cable coming into this, yep. uh, into this room, and then it all seems to land here. Uh, and, then, and then panels. what happens? So everything terminates into these patch panels, which are served by these network switches that consolidate all of the data from this floor and then route it down to another location that's in the building switch, um, which is um, in a different part of the building. Okay, and so the, and, and in general, where are we going? Like the data comes here, so the wires come here, mm -hmm. um, but there's something else that happens in this room because in this room, we're also transitioning from this copper cable to something else, right? Okay. So what comes out of here? So from here, we're transitioning from the copper connections to a fiber optic connection. Ah, uh, okay. And after this, this is the last place that we'll be using copper connections, and from here on out, it's all going to be fiber. Right, so those copper connections that we showed you in my office, those cables can't go very far, and so pretty quickly, and this is uh, true, you know, as you go into the core of the internet, pretty quickly you get from a copper cable to some sort of fiber optic connection. And here, we're already at a fiber optic connection. These fiber optic cables are going to drop down uh, into the basement uh, where we're going to go next. So I just want to quickly show you the other side of this, this uh, networking cabinet because what's happening here is all of that copper wire that came from all of the offices on this floor, most of the offices on this floor it turns out, uh, comes through, um, comes to here and then comes over here to this switch where it's converted to a fiber optic uh, signal. So 
you can kind of get a visual impression of how much higher capacity these 50 micron fiber optic cables are than the copper that's coming into them. So all this copper wire that comes in here is actually being uh, transmitted through just these uh, two thin fiber optic cables. Um, the other interesting thing here is that these are, re these are redundant. So uh, there is one path from my office to this uh, particular switch. So if somebody cut that cable, um, I would lose my internet access. But from here, there's actually two paths that are going into the basement. So I've got two redundant fiber optic cables coming out of, of this particular unit. If one of these failed or if one of these cables was compromised, the system would automatically back up and use this other cable. Uh, since they're both uh, hooked up and working right now, I'm getting additional capacity by splitting the traffic in between them. But from here on out, there's redundancy in the system that we're going to use.